Hello, happy Friday. Um, I just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about something that I have come to the realization is a big part of my life. <laughs> um, so if you are a working mom or you're working and you're a mom or you're a stay at home mom, whatever it all might be, um, this might be a nice little tidbit for you. I also wanted to talk about my makeup really quick. <laughs> um, I just got my pressed powder Saint palette for my makeup. So it's this one. I am usually all about the matte look when it comes to makeup, but I probably a month or two ago was introduced to Saint and I love it. I love everything about it. Um, you get all of the things you need for a full face of contouring, all of it, in one palette. But, and it's buildable without like tons of layers on your face. But the only thing I didn't like was that it's a cream base. So it gives you like that dewy look. And I am purely matte makeup, matte face girl. Um, and I don't have a um, primer or anything I use right now. So my makeup just wasn't, like, I love the way it looks, but I don't like the dewy look. So I finally got my pressed powder, which is supposed to help with that, and I put it on today, and I definitely can tell the difference. I'm obsessed. Um, I'm still using it. I'm getting used to it. Of course, I did it a quick little shebang. Um, and my face had been from the whole day, and I just added makeup on it, when generally I would wash my face in the morning and put the makeup on right after that. So it's a little bit different than it would look, but I love it. It's a little glowy. Just had to throw that in there. If you are looking for new makeup or if you've heard of Saint and you're interested in Saint, let me know. I have an amazing new friend that knows everything about it. And that's who I've been purchasing from. And um, I was very pleased to hear that they are free shipping always. And it comes very quickly. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you've been interested in trying Saint. Or maybe you know of Saint and you just have never purchased. Or maybe you purchased and you need someone new to be connected with. I got your girl. Let me know. I'll hook you up with her. Okay. Now. Okay, hold on, honey. On to my topic. Being a working mom. And how it can be difficult. Shh. But it doesn't have to be. So we always think, I'm a mom. I can't do this extra work. I don't have the time. Or I'm a mom. I need to go home to my child. There's no way I can run a side business. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can. And you, I do. <laughs> um, so let's talk about how. So first, let's go over my full-time job. I currently am a school office assistant at, element, at an elementary school and words are hard. <laughs> um, so about a year ago, I was a assistant director at a preschool. I had been working in preschool for about eight to 10 years. I don't know the exact date right now or time right now because it's just too much. Um, but it was about eight to 10 years um, I was always a two-year-old teacher. I love working with kids. I love being around kids, everything about kids. I also have always wanted to be a mom. So I thought, oh, perfect. Working with kids. That's perfect. I'm, I'm, I'd be a great mom. Like this is going to be amazing. So, um, fast forward, I have my daughter in 2019, take my maternity leave, go back to being a preschool teacher and immediately found out how difficult it was for me personally to be a two-year-old teacher full-time at work and then go home to this infant that just cries and wants my attention and love because it's my child that's mine um so it was hard for me so what did I do I decided to get out of the classroom I left that job and went to be the assistant director at the preschool I was at I loved it still was in the classroom occasionally but not always but there was still that feeling of, I just wasn't able to be the right mom for my daughter. 
I was taking things out on her. I'd have a rough day with kids, come home, she'd be crying for me and I'd take it out on her. Not the kind of mom I wanted to be. So fast forward again. A year ago this month, I switched careers completely, which is funny because I actually went sort of towards the career I went to school for um, and got a job at an elementary school. So now I am an office assistant at an elementary school. Love it. It's like the perfect combination of being around students and kids, being able to help them, being an impact in their life because I'm the first face they see in the front office, but I'm not getting that overwhelming feeling and lack of patience I was having before and bringing home to Layton. Now, that's my career. That's what I love to do. I have short hours, so I get to spend time with Layton because school day is only like eight to three. Um, so I love that. But then I decided, why not add more to my day? Why not add more to my plate? And I got a job running my own business as a skincare body care consultant. So now I sell Palmafera. Many of you have probably heard of it. I promote it all the time. Um, it's like the thing I use daily and talk about daily. <laughs> um, so I have been doing that for about eight months now. And at first it was hard. I felt like I wasn't giving Leighton enough time, but it just was something I was really passionate about being able to help people through this skincare. It was aligned perfectly with what I love helping others. So how do you make time for being a mom and working? Well, this is what you do. You stop worrying about being a mom and working as two separate things. Instead, you bring them together. Now, I could easily say, Layton, mommy's working. You cannot come. Sorry, I'm reading a text message. <laughs> you cannot come over here right now. I'm in the middle of work. You need to go over there and do something else. No. I instead say, hey, Layton, mommy's about to go on a call. Do you want to come join me? Or, hey, Layton, mommy's about to make a video for work. Do you want to come make it with me? And I allow her to be a part of the whole process. I allow her to be a part of my company. I allow her to be a part of my work. And I have found it is so much easier when I incorporate her with my work because then she's not yelling at me as much. Like right now, she wants to lay on the couch and she's yelling at me, or the bed. So she's yelling at me from the bed. When if she was just sitting on my lap watching her Coco Melon, she would not have a problem with it. So it's easier when you incorporate them and let them be a part of your work. And then not only are they not fighting for your attention, but they are seeing what it is to have be like for your business. They're seeing what your business is all about. And I love that I can make these fun videos for my work and she comes in and steals the show, <laughs> but sees mommy's working to make a living. Mommy's working to, to provide you with Play-Doh whatever it is that she wants. And it's not just, oh, I have to go to work. Oh, I don't like work. No, it's something I enjoy and you can enjoy it with me. So my whole rant just now basically is instead of separating working and being a mom and how do I do both, it's best if you put them together. Incorporate being a mom working. Incorporate being a mom in your work. How can you Bring that part of your life into your business. How can you promote your business as a mom? Because there's a lot of moms out there. A lot of us like to do these kind of businesses, social networking, all that stuff. And if you're going to continue to tell your child, oh, I'm working, you need to go away. Yes, there are a time and a place when I need to get work done. I need to write an email. And so I'm going to let her play or when she's taking a nap sit down and focus on that. But when it's things like making something fun for your work, making something fun for your business, going on a call, as long as you don't get in trouble by your boss, incorporate them. It's not that hard. They love it. And you know what? It'll help promote your business. She's like my little assistant now. She loves to just whip out my products and be like, yeah. And not only that, she actually uses these products. So the healing body oil, she asks for regularly. So of course, if I'm going to do a healing body oil 
video, real campaign, whatever. I'm going to let her be a part of it because it's easier to incorporate my motherhood and my job, life, whatever you want to call it as a mom into my business because that's who I am. That's how you make your business real. That is how you show your truth is allowing that part of you to shine. So that whole rant (laughs) was basically saying, stop fighting the fact that you are a mom and you don't think you can make a job as a network marketing or you don't think you can run a business because of that. Stop using it as an excuse. Instead, take that opportunity and use it to help grow your business. Incorporate being a mom working. I just love that sentence. It came to my head and it's like, I love it. And that's it. That is my Friday spiel, my Friday tip. If you already knew that, then you're my kind of people. (laughs) If this helped you or it kind of like sent a little, oh, that's a great idea. Then let me know with a heart emoji. (laughs) Um, But other than that, I have to go get this girl milk and make sure she doesn't break her charging cord. And we are going to go hang out with my cousin and watch scary movies and enjoy our Friday. Hi, Aunt Di. (laughs) Um, And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I hope this was helpful. See you later. Bye. Oh, hey, Danielle, we're coming to see you. (laughs) Okay, bye. (laughs) Oh, we are. (laughs) Jim's on his way home. I was just making a little hello while I, hi, Aunt Di, <laughs> while I waited for him. Okay? Okay, bye. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is hilarious. This part of the video is going to be cut out, but it's very funny and I'm going to save it still because <laughs> I was like, I'm talking to myself, but I'm actually talking to you. Um. Okay. Bye. I got to go. <laughs> Look, I did make up for you too, Danielle. Aren't you happy? All for you. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye. (laughs)